So, what does your equipment say about you as a goalie? Let's find out together, coming up next. Voice over goalie. Hey, Wayne the voiceover goalie here. My channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content. So if you've liked, subscribed, or commented on one of my videos, you are totally awesome. So if you're like me, you spend uh, a good portion of your day perusing the internet, looking at photos of people's goalie equipment. And you know, the photos that you post and the gear that you select can say a lot about you as a goalie. We all have different equipment and preferences and styles of play. And that got me thinking, you know, it'd be fun if you and I analyzed some of these photos together. So last week, I put out a post looking for you to submit photos of your gear. And I really didn't think that I'd get more than a handful of emails. And then my wife said to me, dude, you got like 6,000 subscribers. And then my email got flooded with all of your awesome goalie photos. And truth be told, I had a really difficult time narrowing down which ones to use in this video. So I thought I'd just go through, talk about a few of my favorites, um, and also wrap up at the end with some high school style superlatives. So when looking through all of your photos, there were a handful that really stood out. It could have been based on location, like Ray playing here at the Joe Luce Arena, or it could be for a good cause, like Wrangler using pad wrap for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but still maintaining his dedication to his S-curve by having his pads upside down, or it could be an action shot like Raymond's that reminds us that we sometimes make awesome knob saves. But as I look through all your photos, there were some common themes. For some of you, I could immediately tell who your favorite NHL team was. Like Usman, who clearly loves the Oilers, or Mike for his mask choice, which is definitely Bruins inspired. But then sometimes you have to dig a little deeper, like Don, who is a subtle Senators fan. And more than just your favorite NHL team, sometimes I could actually tell who your favorite NHL goalie is. Some photos were obvious, like Jeremy loves Lundquist, and Dimitra loves Bordeaux, and clearly Bill likes Tim Thomas. But then sometimes you can't choose between two goalies like Wade, and so you just mash them together. Or my buddy Daniel, who shows that Tuka and Yarrow can be an awesome combination. And no, Mike Smith didn't send in a photo of his gear, but his cousin Christian did. So when a family member's in the show and you're getting his hand-me-downs, uh, he's gotta be your favorite. And speaking of family, a few of you sent in some awesome family goalie pics. Like Mike, who's posing here with the son, or Tomas, who sent me a photo of his two boys all the way from Finland. So that just goes to show that goaltending really is in your blood. Another thing that I'm really into is sports psychology. And not just from our player standpoint, how we mentally prepare for a game, but also having a few psychological tricks up our sleeve to confuse and manipulate shooters. Like Brad, whose jersey has a bullseye showing where he wants people to shoot at. Or Scott, whose custom Brian set is sure to distract the shooters. Now, one of the biggest themes is how we use our equipment to express ourselves individually. And it seems like there's no better place for that than your mask. Here, John shows his love for Japanese culture and the samurai on his mage. And I'm pretty sure by Mark's mask, yet he enjoys fishing. And nothing is more awesome than a Venom-themed mask. Bryce and Kate both have super awesome lids. But there are some diehard fans out there that take it one step further. You could be part of the Rebel Alliance like Aaron, or not like Trent. And look, as a Star Wars fan myself, I know how easy it is to go 110%. But aside from Star Wars, some of my other favorite entries incorporated elements from my favorite decades of goaltending, the 80s and 90s. My very first car was a Pontiac, so Chris's Firebird set is super rad. And if you grew up in the 80s or 90s, there was no better show than DuckTales. Never mind how many hours I spent playing the DuckTales Nintendo game. But Wayne's Scrooge McDuck jersey also brings us to the next jersey, Paul setup, which probably exemplifies one of the best old school ice hockey video games. So talking about the 90s brings me directly back to high school. And what says more about high school than superlatives? So in no particular order, let's start with the best old school setup. Here's Jimmy with a sweet set of matching eye techs. But of all the photos of old school setups I got, hands down, the winner is Andrew with his awesome coho set. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you know I have a soft spot for old school pads. But I also have a thing for dragons. So the best goalie dragon setup goes to my boy Jeff. Jeff's team's name is the Dragons, and aside from an awesome baby blue set of Vons he has, he's got a pretty dope paint job on his sports mask. 
Another thing you may or may not know about me is I am a giant comic nerd. You might have got that from those guys up there. And some of you sent in your best impressions of the blip from Avengers Endgame. Like Yari, who's repping gear from each of the last three decades, or Rek, who apparently was just chilling out watching TV. But the winner is EB, who apparently was working on some off-ice butterfly training. And that brings us to who's the biggest B.O. Goalie fan? You know, personally, it's hard for me to think that I actually have fans. I think of all of you more as my close goalie friends. But two of you sent in photos that really say, yeah, I get you, Wayne. So Nathan's been a big supporter of the channel for a long time. Um, so much so that when he sent in this pic, I was like, dude, with your white pads and red mask, you are like the bizarro Wayne. But the biggest fan award goes to Trent, who is the living embodiment of my goalie myth-busting series, Does Pad Color Matter? Now, Nathan and Trent aren't the only fans of this channel. How do I know this? Because while Warrior Hockey isn't sponsoring this video, a lot of you sent in photos of your awesome Warrior gear. And you know I love me some Warrior equipment. Thank you so much to all of you who sent me an email with your photos. I tried to get as many of them into this video as I could, and I'm sorry if yours didn't make it in this time. But keep your eyes open in my Communities tab for participation opportunities just like this in the future. And if you still want to hang out some more, check out these videos over here.